May glory Jesus, praise God, hallelujah. Once again with the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible, praise God, hallelujah, the power of God and salvation to everyone that believeth. And when uh, you mean, uh, when your soul don't have power, I mean, that's it, praise God, you don't have Christ. Praise God, hallelujah, that's it. You don't have no gospel. Your battery and your car needs power, I mean, praise God, it's it to operate. And your soul needs power to operate, praise God, hallelujah, because without the power, you're going to be dead. I mean, praise God, it's it with curses and uh, with sins and with trespasses and funny preachers and funny Bibles and so forth and so on outside the gospel of Christ and the King James Bible. I mean, praise God, that's it, that uh, when you don't have the gospel of Christ, praise God, people, as you say, you know, I... You know, how do you know that the King James Bible is the only Bible? Or look at Romans 1.16. My Bible says I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. And then uh, look at, there's so many examples uh, in the Bible. The verse is missing and twisted and scripture is twisted. And look at the women today. And then praise God, look at the people today. The church doctrines, or keep changing their doctrines because they keep getting new funny Bibles. And because they never believed in the King James Bible to begin with anyways. They were looking for years and years before the uh, other Bibles came out that to uh, get rid of the King James Bible to change the truth. And then praise God, using feigned words, people were using feigned words on people years before those other funny Bibles came out and to make merchandise of them. Amen, praise God. But I'm here to tell you that, amen, praise God, you got to get into the Word of God and praise God, hallelujah, that's it, and become the very elect. Amen, praise God, become God's merchandise instead of the merchandise of men. Amen, praise God, be, amen, the jewels. Amen, praise God, it says in Malachi, praise God, hallelujah, be his merchandise. Praise God, when he makes up his crown, amen, praise God, you'll be his jewels. Praise God, hallelujah, that's it. We are God's plantation. Praise God, so don't worry if you be the corn or the wheat or the, uh, or the, or the, uh, or the uh, barley or the hops or the whatever, amen, praise God. The, just as long as you are his plantation, praise God, hallelujah, that's it, glory Jesus. So, amen, praise God, just as long as you grow, amen, praise God, in the word of God. And uh, and uh, people, amen, praise God, they're not growing, they're dying, amen, praise God, they're sick, amen, they're side set, upset, so forth and so on, and don't want to know nothing, and uh, they're just lukewarm, dead in their tr sins and trespasses, and uh, they're just uh, going on after the things of this world, instead of the things of uh, the gospel of Christ, they're suffering for the things of this world, suffering to get that good gift, that good Christmas gift, suffering to get that uh, tree, and suffering to uh, to uh, get this and th get that at the store before it becomes sold out and so forth and so on. And the uh, men are just selling themselves, their soul out to the devil, to uh, men and to uh, uh, to uh, the churches and to uh, uh, to uh, their father, the devil, because they haven't at all uh, uh, learned to be free from sin. They're sold under bondage. And then first God's sold under sin. And then first God, they're sold to Mary, sold to the Roman Catholic priest, but they're not sold Amen, praise God, to the Word of God. Praise God, hallelujah. They said, you got to be, uh, amen, praise God, drawn to the Word of God. And Jesus said, except my Father draws you unto me, you cannot be saved. Praise God, hallelujah. So, amen, they said that your soul is of a great price. Praise God, said, and you got to, amen, praise God, get, get your soul into the Word of God. Praise God, because you're saving as a soul. Amen, praise God, hallelujah. That's it. Praise God, because this flesh and blood shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. But, uh, amen, praise God, it's the soul, because the soul is going to endure forever. Praise God, hallelujah, glory to Jesus, amen. Flesh and blood shall not uh, enter the kingdom of heaven, praise God. So, so we got to get rid of uh, your uh, own uh, ways, your own uh, sinful ways, praise, praise God, hallelujah. And what's that? you got to crucify the flesh by faith. What's that? Not by taking nails and nailing to a piece of wood or to a tree, amen, praise God, to a cross. But it's uh, by doing it by faith, praise God, which comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God, glory to Jesus, praise God, hallelujah. And I'm reading in uh, Peter, praise God, highly, Second Peter, chapter three, and uh, it says right here that uh, knowing this first, Amen, praise God. So, Amen, praise God. So, Peter, Amen, praise God, and people knowing this, I mean, they knew something. Knowing this, praise God, first that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts. I mean, there are people turning the grace of God into lasciviousness. I mean, they got their churches as a bingo hall. Uh, they got. Uh, you know, uh, got funny Bibles, they got funny ways and funny do's and funny don'ts. And then praise God in socials, uh, and so forth, so forth, so forth, so forth, so forth and so on. And uh, they uh, got um, uh, they got uh, all the things of the world. I mean, all the vanity that's done under the sun. I mean, their homosexual marriages and their homosexual preachers and idolatrous preachers and divorce from marriage in Sunday school and and the Bible school and uh, Bible camp and retreats. And when you don't have any armor, you just go to a retreat. And then praise God it says, knowing this first that there shall come in the last day scoffers walking after their own lusts. Amen, praise God. And, uh, and these preachers on TV, radio, and internet, a lot of them just walking after their own lusts. And then with the harlot down the street, or just walking after just to make a quick dollar off the Christians, a quick buck off them, and, and uh, to sell their merchandise, to sell their junk, and so forth and so on, to fulfill their lusts of their flesh, instead of uh, walking in the Spirit. Praise God, hallelujah. It. And uh, it says, knowing first that there shall come the last day scoffers walking after their own lusts. And saying, where's the promise of his coming? Amen, praise God, that's it. You know, that there's going to be people out there that uh, who've uh, 
uh, or a member of uh, the uh, Church of uh, Satan, him and Prince God, and uh, they're trying to infiltrate the Church of God and witchcraft, you know, and they're trying to say, well, where is this coming? You know, that's it, it's been uh, 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 2,012 years now, or 3,000 years, or whatever, how many years in the future Jesus comes? And then Prince God, because he says that uh, he doesn't know the time and date, and that it's just time to do the angels, but my Father in heaven only. And he says, uh, he says uh, where is the promise of his coming? When is he coming back? I mean, that's it. And uh, I mean, for since the fathers have fallen asleep, all things continue on as they were from the beginning of the creation. I know when Jesus is coming back. Well, he just said that, uh, you know, you don't know. Neither does the uh, angels, neither does uh, uh, Jesus know, but his father only. Yeah, but we know but, uh, by reading the Bible. I mean, praise God by what's happening. Praise God, Jesus said, watch and pray. And then uh, he told us to watch. I mean, praise God, we see things are coming on the earth, and things are happening on the earth more and more in the past uh, 30 years than we have uh, been for the past 100 years. I mean, praise God, more curses, more sickness, more things coming on the earth, I and mean, then more events happening in, in the Middle East especially. I mean, it used to be in Europe a long time ago, now it's happening in the Middle East, and things are happening all over the world, kingdom against kingdom, nation against nation. Amen. Uh, and then it's getting more and more. I mean, praise God, we're, we're seeing things happening more and more, and uh, uh, things being endorsed by the uh, churches and the devil, you know, he knows that he has a short time in Revelations 12:12, 12, 12, and he's going to try everything he can. And we see more and more of these things happening, and and people falling away. Uh, the son of perdition going to be revealed, and people falling away from the church, and the new funny Bibles coming out, and so forth and so on. And and so I see, we see it's happening in the world. I mean, we're reading the Bible. I mean, praise God, we know that the word of God is true. I mean, praise God, how it said the scriptures have to be fulfilled before the Holy Ghost comes back. Praise God. People are looking at the 2012. But Jesus said, uh, don't listen to those people because they're going to say, low Christ is here. And there and they're going to say the end of the world is 2012. Well, forget it. <laughs> Amen. I said I'm going to still be here. Amen. Praise God. In 2013. Amen. Praise God. Unless Jesus comes and takes me home. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's a new heaven, new earth, and a new heaven. I didn't say the the uh, the Jehovah Witness heaven where they believe that they're still going to inherit the earth. Well, they, I said you can inherit all the earth all you want, but it's going to blow up. I mean, there's going to be a new heaven, new earth. We're in dwell of righteousness. Praise God. And the, Jesus is going to be the light of the, of the uh, new. Earth, I mean, praise God, it's a new Jerusalem which come down from above, praise God, hallelujah, glory Jesus, praise God. And it's going to be a big country, it's just from uh, walking from uh, uh, Edmonton, Alberta to uh, St. John's, Newfoundland one way, and uh, from uh, Edmonton, Alberta all the way down to, uh, uh, excuse me, all the way down to uh, uh, the uh, end of Argentina, I mean, praise God, it's uh, going to be a big, uh, huge uh, place, praise God, hallelujah, it's it. And only a few people are going to live there, I mean, that's it, it's going to be a few people, I mean, praise God, I don't know where my neighbor's going to be, whether it be five miles or 500 miles away, praise God. It's, it's, uh, it's going to be very few because Jesus preached about the few and, and preachers talking about the many. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's, it's an abomination, these preachers, that they talk about the many. God loves everybody. Well, that's the, the gospel of the many, not the gospel of the few. I mean, praise God, hallelujah. Jesus said, many shall be called, but few shall be chosen. Many shall be called Christians, but few shall be chosen. So I don't listen to the gospel of the many preachers. When I see the huge crowds, I know that's the gospel of the many because the preacher won't speak up against their sin. I mean, praise God, they'll just uh, have an itching ears gospel, and, and uh, these people are just uh, nothing but philosophers and uh, uh, vain deceit. I mean, praise God, and the Bible says is that beware of vain deceit, philosophy, I mean, uh, which are the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. I mean, praise God, in Colossians. But that's what these people are, just nothing but philosophers. I mean, praise God, in vain deceit. I mean, praise God, in the Bible says, be not partakers with them. Praise God, hallelujah, with vain words. I mean, praise God, said in uh, Ephesians chapter 5, the Apostle Paul tells you this. Ephesians 5, verse um, 6, let no man deceive you with vain words, for because these things come with the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. And Bible school is vain words because they got the, what the Greek says and the, and the Hebrew says, and they're not even too sure of themselves because they can't read Greek or Hebrew to begin with. They're just uh, going with what a book says, and in the next edition of that book, it's going to say there's a mistake or or, or uh, still questionable. And uh, yeah, yeah, well, forget it, man. They got the King James Bible, the Gospel of Christ, and the Bible says is that we're no longer Greek and Hebrew under sin. Praise God, hallelujah. It says is that uh, be not ye therefore partakers with them, and then come out from among them. For you were sometimes in darkness, but now you are the children, and now you are light, the Lord that walk as children of light, and have no fellowship, praise God, hallelujah, is it? Uh, verse 11, I'm going to skip down, verse 11, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them, praise God, come out from among them, be separate, say the Lord, and I will receive you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty, amen, praise God. And uh, they're saying, where's the promise that's coming for since these, for since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. And that's what man's falling asleep. I mean, they fall asleep. They, they don't care anymore about the King James Bible. I mean, they just care about the, their own uh, uh, 
uh, perversions in their own ways, their own lusts, and so forth, their own uh, ways, and that's why they're out there with the jokes, the smokes, and the and the uh, and the uh, drugs, and the fornication, and the smokes, and the and the nicotines, and the uh, drugs, and they're trying to find the drugs off the street, and so forth and so on. Because you know that they 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 are told by these preachers that God loves everybody, and that uh, where's the promise was coming, He's not coming yet, so they're going to smoke themselves and whatever and do whatever. Because I mean, they're not told to be ready at all times. I mean, praise God, when some man come, I shall find faith on the earth. Praise God. So Jesus told us is that uh, is that uh, to be ready to watch. You don't know the hour the master is coming back. Man, praise God. Said that uh, he'll come as a thief in the night. Praise God. So you got to watch. Man, praise God. I work in security, and we got to watch the night shifts, especially for thieves coming in the night. Man, they want to break your window. They want to uh, come in. Praise God. Said and uh, amen. But Jesus is going to come as a thief in the night. But it's going to be one that's going to come in very. I mean, praise God. Uh, very uh, sneakily, uh, sneaky. He's going to be uh, a thief that. Uh, Amen, praise God, that, uh, that no one can be able to catch. Amen, praise God, said he's, but he's not going to be like a thief, like the devil, a, a, a liar and murderer, or a thief. Amen, praise God, uh, like the people that came before him, but he's going to come and he's going to, amen, praise God, take his own elect. Amen, praise God, hallelujah. And he's going to do it, amen, praise God, in the twinkling of an eye. Praise God, hallelujah. That's it. So give you that uh, parable, that description is how it was going to be. Amen, praise God, I'm going to be as a thief. I'm going to be very quick, I'm going to be very sneaking, out, but I'm going to do it. Amen, praise God, said, Shh. amen. Uh, Take him, man, praise God, and gonna and I'm gonna uh, walk away. Praise God, hallelujah. Sit, and that's what he'll do with his own elect. He'll twinkle of night, walk away. Praise God, hallelujah. Sit with his own elect to meet them in the clouds of glory. Praise God, hallelujah. Sit, amen. Praise God, and uh, you know the day of the Lord. Uh, amen. Praise God, sits when the day of the Lord. Praise God comes. And it's gonna be as a fifth night, and we and amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Sit, and uh, Paul told us about the day of the Lord in uh, Thessalonians. And he says they're gonna be say saying peace and safety. And sudden destruction shall appear. Praise God, hallelujah. Sit. So, amen. Praise God. So, God's going to come in sudden destruction. Amen. Praise God. He, for our God's consuming fire. In Hebrews chapter 12, last uh, uh, last verse. Amen. Praise God. Sit. Amen. amen. Praise God. But Jesus, amen. Praise God. He's going to come and take his own elect. Shall the son man, which son man comes, shall find faith, not filth. Amen. If uh, you go to church, you'll find the filth on the earth. Amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Let's sit. And then churches have a nerve to say that. Uh, that uh, that you know that uh, we're uh, we're a cult and uh, I'm a cult and I'm uh, preaching uh, you know that uh, a heretic gospel and so forth and so on and they and uh, and uh, they try to uh, you know try to look for whatever try to say that you know he's doing this and he's a sinner and so forth and so on. Well, they swallow that he, uh, the Bible says is that they swallow that he, uh, they 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 strain a, a gnat and they swallow a camel. I mean, praise God that sits. So I mean, praise God that sits. How they sit that. Uh, Amen, praise God, you know, that uh, just because, uh, you know, praise God, I don't follow their church doctrines, or just because, uh, you know, praise God, I uh, don't, uh, you know, praise God, uh, don't have uh, do this or do that the way the world wants you to do, and they're going to say, oh, well, you know, you didn't stop at the stop sign, and, uh, you know, uh, that's it, uh, because, uh, you know, and praise God, you know, where sons of God and things happen, you know, sometimes we don't pay attention or wherever things happen, we're keeping our eyes concentrating on the road and concentrating on whatever, you know, sometimes we're, we're uh, doing something and, uh, you know, it's an accident and, you know, we're supposed to obey man's rules and, you know, but uh, it doesn't say in the Bible that you've uh, commit sin, you know, <laughs> for speeding in your chariot. I remember that uh, a few years ago that used to come out, well, you don't stop at the stop sign or you uh, forgot to stop the red light, you're a sinner. <laughs> Well, didn't see Jesus never said he didn't sin for it by speeding in your tri in your chariot, you know, or, or not stopping at the uh, uh, at uh, in your chariot. No, but I mean, uh, man out there, you know, praise God, it's, it's amazing with the mind that they have that uh, I mean to come up with things just to to uh, justify who they are and to try to tell you who you are and so forth and so on. And uh, they're meanwhile they're judging you and they're judging themselves unworthy of everlasting life. But praise God, hallelujah, that's it. That uh, I mean, praise God, that uh, we sons of God, man, praise God, that's it. We got to you know mind the things of the earth of man's rules and. Uh, so forth and so on, but uh, man, praise God. But uh, you know, we uh, we uh, you know have that joy, and we you know praise Him. And sometimes we're singing to the Lord, and we're just in the spirit, and you're just wow, like and all of a sudden, boom, and like ooh, I, I just uh, uh, whoops, <laughs> and, uh, praise God, hallelujah, that's it. Uh, but uh, praise God, it's just glory, glory, God. We gotta keep our eyes all the time on the road, and then praise God, it's it because there's a lot of people out there and uh, who. Uh, um, who don't see or whatever and so forth and so on. But we've got to keep our eyes also on the Bible, praise God, hallelujah, on the Bible because, I mean, that's a long road. It's a straight and narrow, praise God, hallelujah, it's it because the devil's going to be there on the road all the time. Uh, you know, there's like there are pedestrians or stop signs and red lights and the devil's going to be there all the time. But we got to use the Word of God and we got to get in the Word of God, praise God, and keep our eyes on the Word of God, praise God, to know what lies ahead, praise God, hallelujah. If we don't know what lies ahead, we don't read the danger signs, we don't read the signs. Well, that's it, that the, I mean, that the devil will be all over you. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Praise God. 
and then we'll get chastised. I mean, if we don't accept that chastisement, then I mean, the devil be all over you. Praise God, hallelujah. And it says, is that the, for this they are wign Ill, for this are they willingly, are ignorant, in that by the word of God. I mean, praise God. And the people are ignorant of the word of God. They're not ignorant of. I mean, praise God, man down the street. They're not ignorant of uh, of um, of uh, what, what goes on in the neighborhood. They're not ignorant of uh, the TV preacher because they know. I mean, some people know that he's filthy, he's wrong, but they still stick to him. <laughs> they come out from among them. I mean, they didn't say to stick to him. It says uh, separate. I mean, praise God. Uh, suppose the gain is godliness. From such withdraw thyself. I mean, praise God. So withdraw thyself. I mean, come out from among them. Praise God. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus. I mean. I mean, uh, be a child of God. I mean, don't be a child of man and still stay there and give your give you give his your money or just give you him your attention. Praise God, hallelujah. Give the Bible your attention. Praise God. I mean, I don't need any attention. Praise God. I mean, I got the attention of my Father. Praise God, hallelujah. That's it. I'm uh, whom He glorified, whom He justified, and who He justified, then then He uh, glorified, and uh, that we might and then that we might be predestinated. Amen. Praise God. Is trying to get the right scripture in Romans chapter eight. Uh, amen. Praise God. In Romans chapter eight. The Bible tells us that, that um, and whom he, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, him he also called, him he also called, him he also justified, him he justified, he also glorified. And praise God, hallelujah. So I'm glorified, praise God, said, by my Father in heaven, praise God, said, so amen. Said, so we're not ignorant of that by the Word of God, but many people, men, they're ignorant of the Word of God because they think or they thought or they heard or they, or uh, whatever they have, uh, you know, uh, just an idea and they don't have it all, uh, amen, the scripture. I mean, the Bible says there's a way that seems right unto man, but also the end way is death. I mean, praise God, and that's what man has, it's just a, a way. I mean, they got their own ways, but the end ways is death. I mean, praise God, hallelujah, that's it. I mean, Jesus, they don't have the way. I mean, the way, the truth, and the life. They just have a way, and they don't have the way. There's a difference. I mean, praise God, hallelujah, between a way and the way. Because Jesus is the way, not a way. Praise God, the way, the only way. Praise God, hallelujah, Lord Jesus. And no man come up unto the Father can come to God except through the Son. Praise God, through the Word. Praise God. It says that for this year, we're only ignorant by the Word of God. The heavens were of old, and the earth staying out of the water and in the water, whereby that the world that was then being overflowed with water, perished. I mean, praise God, how they said to perish. So, I mean, praise God, says so, you know, that people, you know, they're ignorant of that by the word of God when, uh, you know, they, about the, the floods, you know, they don't know what the Noah's flood is all about. You know, they just have uh, an idea and uh, so forth and so on. And that's what man and Christianity is, it's nothing but ideas. I mean, uh, nothing, uh, so getting the word of God to see. I mean, how true those things are that happen in archaeology. And archaeologists have been proven things that, yeah, you know, that's what the Bible says, yeah, this, yeah, you know, I can believe it now. I can see, I understand the Bible is true. Praise God. Well, it is true. Praise God. I said to myself, I see the God is true. I mean, praise God, let God be true and remain a liar. Praise God. How did it sit? I mean, then the uh, Bible says, uh, Paul says, I speak truth in Christ. I lie not. I mean, praise God. I said, he, he knew what he was talking about. Praise God. Unlike the preachers who today who don't know what they're talking about. I mean, praise God. They just have an idea and they're just uh, going on with their funny ideas, but they're not going on with the truth. I mean, praise God. How did it says We hear that. Um, or by the world that was being overflowed with water, perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Amen, praise God. And the heavens and the earth, amen, praise God, that's why we're on the earth, is because of gravity, because of the word, not because of some man named Isaac Newton discovered gravity. Amen, science falsely so called, Paul said. No, but it's been there since day one, because God spoke the word. That's why we're on the earth. Because the same word that made the King James Bible is uh, keep me on the face of the earth. The same word that's making Saturn and uh, Neptune and uh, Venus and Mars and Pluto and uh, and uh, uh, and uh, Mercury and uh, whatever planets out there. Uh, amen. Spinning around. Amen. It's by the word of God. Praise God. And it's reserved on the fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. So it makes the moon spin, spin around. Praise God. And said, Hallelujah. And one day, amen. Said the moon and the stars are not going to be shining no more. Praise God. And said they're going to lose their brightness and the uh, sun man be on his way. Praise God. Hallelujah. But uh, uh, it's going to be uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in the noon and afternoon. It will all of a sudden be dark. I mean, there'll be no more sunshine. Why? It's because I mean, the Son of God is on His way. I mean, praise God. It's going to be complete darkness. I mean, praise God. Hallelujah! So when He comes, and men are going to be in shock because they weren't at all paying attention because they've fallen asleep. I mean, they don't know the day, the time, the hour when the Son of Man cometh. I mean, praise God. It said they never were watching or paying attention. I mean, praise God. When the when that hour comes, I mean, praise God. Glory to you, Hallelujah. And it says that. Um, and he says that uh, 
But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing that one day of the Lord is a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. Praise God. So there's no time of God. I mean, praise God. One day of the Lord could be a thousand years. I mean, praise God. It's just, there's no time. I mean, that's what the Bible's trying to say. You know, God has no time. You know, you ask the people down the street, do you have the time, sir? Well, praise God. You know, that's it. That, uh, uh, you know, she had the time. Well, you know, praise God in Christ Jesus that there is no time. I mean, praise God, hallelujah. Now is the appointed time. That's the only time I read in the Bible God has is now. I mean, praise God, that's what time is it? It's now. I mean, praise God, hallelujah. I mean, that's it. There's no time, you know, it's not one o'clock, three o'clock, or five o'clock. It's the now. I mean, praise God, that's the time of the Lord. I mean, praise God, so there's no time. I mean, praise God, that's it. It's just the now. Praise God, hallelujah. He works in the now. And praise God, hallelujah, that's it. I mean, praise God, so, uh, amen, praise God, so there's no time. So it says right here that, uh, uh, that, uh, that uh, beloved, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day the Lord is a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. I mean, praise God. Peter's writing to people, praise God, who are born again. I mean, not just to the, uh, to the Christian down the street, you don't want to know that and be sinners. He didn't say, but sinners. No, he said, but beloved, be not ignorant. I mean, praise God, because he's writing to believers. I mean, that's what the epistles of Peter to, it's, uh, to believers. I mean, you read the beginning, how he writes to people, grace, peace, and mercy be multiplied unto you. And, and then praise God reigns to these believers, praise God has heard of them, or who's taught in his days, praise God is sitting glorious and uh, amen, praise God in his epistles and apostles. The Bible is written for us holy people, not written for them church people, them sinners who are going to want to know nothing. And then praise God is written for holy people. But praise God, hallelujah, that's it. That uh, God's time is always now. I mean, praise God, says, there's no time with him. Praise God, it's always done in the now. I mean, uh, uh, Moses, I mean, when he parted the Red Sea, it was done in the now. I mean, God didn't wait five years to part the Red Sea and let the Israelites be killed by Pharaoh. No, he did it in the now. Praise God, hallelujah. Paul talked about the now. It's the point time of salvation. Now faith is, praise God. Jesus healed people in the now. I mean, praise God, as soon as he spoke the word, go thy way, whew, it was done. It was done in the now. I mean, the word, go thy way, as soon as he spoke the word, whew, go thy way, it was done. It wasn't done in the five years or ten years or going to wait on it. No, it was done in the now. So praise God, hallelujah, sit. So get your, get in your King James Bible, the Gospel of Christ. I mean, praise God, to be not ignorant that, uh, I mean, praise God, that's it, that, uh, amen, is the word of God, because there's a new heaven and new earth coming. We're in dwell righteousness. And Isaiah talked about it, Peter talked about it, and the Bible talks about it. Amen, praise God, that's it. Everywhere that uh, a new heaven and a new earth, we're in dwell righteousness, praise God. And in new Jerusalem, which come down from above, praise God, hallelujah, which is the mother of us all. So, glory to you. So, get in your word of God, get in your King James Bible. Amen, praise God, the gospel of Christ. Amen, praise God, and you can never go wrong. Praise God, hallelujah. Put on the whole armor of, of God. Amen, the helm of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, feet shower, preparation of gospel of peace, loins girded about with truth, shield of spirit, spirit, sword of faith, which is the word of God. So, praise God, hallelujah. Glory to you. So, amen, get in your Bible, get in the word of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God, hallelujah.